Welcome, this is MDog, and I am here with Fishing Sim World Dovetail Games newest uh, fishing simulator. And I just wanted to get a first impressions video up. A uh, couple of caveats. One, we are in the very first, what, uh, 12 hours still of the what they're calling a quote-unquote early access beta period there's a four-day period where if you've pre-ordered this game you're getting some early access to it on the pc and the xbox one my understanding is that they were not able to work that on the on the playstation 4 so the regular release of the ps4 will be when everyone over there on that uh console will be able to play it um i have i guess i've gotten to level 10 here uh which you know no big deal just spent a couple hours playing the game last night didn't take that long to get to level 10 maybe three hours something like that um and i've only done bass fishing or i should say predator fishing and so i just wanted to again caveats on what my first impressions are going to be centered on is a very brief time with the game and uh, and mostly focusing on, entirely focusing on predator fishing. I have done zero carp fishing so far. I will get to that. Uh, I will, you know, I'm sure I'll release videos with a fuller view of the game and, in, and then release videos with more specific portions of the game. This is really just meant to be, if you uh, don't know anything about it or are, um, you know, wanting to see what's the bass fishing like, I want to at least give you a, 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 a quick look at that. So first, because this is the first video I've done on this game, let's just quickly look at the different options you have here. We're in the main, the main screen of when you log in. There's some little, um, you know, some little things with the UI that I do wish were different. Um, however, it's functional, I suppose. Um, mouse and keyboard is the easier way to get through many of the menus, although you can tell, and I will talk more about using a controller later, you can tell that everything is also designed with a controller in mind. So let's look at the angler's log. This is going to show you your trophy catches and the different species that are available. Um, so like if we go through this list here, what is this going to be? Six, 12, 18. So if I am... If I'm counting and looking at this right, it looks like there's 18 species. If you go to any given species, it will tell you your best catch, how many times you've caught it. It says that I've caught 26 largemouth bass at this point. Again, mostly what I've done. Um, and then, of course, the other thing is looking at trophies. Um, we have not had a largemouth bass trophy apparently yet. We did have a smallmouth bass trophy, a black crappie, a chain pickerel trophy. Uh, and that was at Lake Boulder. Oh, it was Lake Johnson. I did have a largemouth bass trophy video. So anyway, this is where you can see your trophy fish. Um, and then these are the places that I just haven't even been to. <laughs> All the places where they have the carp. And it looks like on the carp maps, they've got more of the quote unquote boss fish that are named versus the uh, the largemouth bass and some of the other predator fish. They don't so much have boss fish uh, like they typically do in these games. Uh, so it looks like they've kind of reserved that for more of the European style uh, fishing with the carp and other fish like that. Anyway, um, so that's all under Angler's Log. You can customize your appearance. Very limited amount of customization when it comes to what your character looks like three male, three female uh, options there. You can change your hairstyle, your hair color, your eye color, what accessory you have. Um, they're basically just different hats, at least that come by default. I should mention that I pre-ordered the deluxe edition, so some of the things that were you know, on my account may have to do with that deluxe edition versus the normal edition. I haven't really looked back to see what it was, but you can go in and change your appearance at any time. You can go, eventually we'll look at the tackle shop. You can purchase new appearance items and we'll look at that in a moment here. You can go to your equipment, which is your tackle box. I haven't played around with, uh, with all the setting up the different tackle boxes yet because again, I haven't done any carp fishing. Uh, it comes preloaded with, you know, three rods per, I guess, tackle box. Uh, already set up, but then you can go into each one. So this is the one that I use, 
we have this uh, bait caster rod and reel with uh, currently some eight pound line and then uh, different, you know, whatever lure you're using. And so you can have up to three rods, even when you're, you know, fishing for bass or whatever, you do still have the three rods that you can switch between. But unlike carp fishing, you're only using one rod at a time. Um, so what was the other section on customized boats? Uh, I think you start off, no matter what version of the game you get, my understanding is you do start off with, uh, with, with a boat. Um, this is the boat that I think came with the deluxe edition, uh, which is just a little faster. You can then, again, this is a good time to transition to the tackle shop. This is where you go to the shop to purchase things with your tackle points, which is the TP up here in the right top side. You can purchase even faster boats and boat wraps to customize what your boat looks like. As I mentioned before, you can cut, you can um, purchase different things to impact your appearance, uh, accessories, clothing for your tops and legs, as well as different footwear, and that will change what your character looks like in game. Uh, they do have, like I mentioned, currently they've got three different boats you can purchase. Um, I believe this is the one that everyone starts with, which maxes out at 40 miles an hour. Uh, the middle tier is similar to what the Deluxe Edition starts with, maxes out at 55 miles an hour, and then the Bass Cat Lynx is what we're all working towards for 100,000 tackle points. Uh, and those are the only boats available, but if you look at the wraps, this is how you would then change what your boat looks like to give it a little bit of customization you can purchase the different wraps to, uh, to decorate the boat. Uh, now, I will say with the, all right, let's go back to customize because I believe this is true. With the deluxe edition boat, which is the one that I'm using here, it doesn't give me an option for wraps. So if I go to the normal boat, let's see if I get boat wrap options then. Okay, I don't. So it may be that the reason why I'm not getting option for wraps is I don't own any wraps yet. Haven't purchased them from the shop. I think that's the case. Now, the other thing about the tackle shop I'll mention is it's broken down by carp, of course, versus bass and predator fishing. So I've been doing primarily, uh, exclusively, bass predator fishing. And so if you go into this category, they have it broken down pretty nice and neatly between rods, reels, lures, um, not a lot of selection, but there's some, uh, it'd be interesting to try different ones. I haven't quite like gotten deep into the different gear. I mean, I basically just purchased what seemed to be one of the nicer bait casting reels and put that with one of the nicer bait casting rods and have just been using that. It seems like changing line in terms of the stronger line is what's maybe a little more impactful. Um, but that's just been my limited experience so far. And then they do thankfully have lots of different lures. And uh, that's been one of the fun parts of this is just getting in there and trying out different lures. So, okay, we're spending too much time not fishing, right? So let's at least go show you what it's like to fish. Um, just to finish this up though, there, there is no tutorial in the game in terms of when you first start, you're gonna be at this main menu and it's just like, okay, what do you wanna do? You, you know, do you wanna do single player or do you wanna go online? If you wanna get the tutorials, these are the videos that they have decided to put. Some of them are actually fairly helpful. Uh, I have watched different ones as questions have come up. Uh, so that's been nice. Um, and then last but not least, we go into either single player or online. We're gonna look at online first because what I'm eventually gonna end up doing is selecting on is single player. Right now, what online involves is either playing a multiplayer match where if you're on PC, my understanding is you can play with up to seven other people. So a party of eight can be fishing together. Or you can go into one of the um, asynchronous, I think that's the correct word for this, asynchronous tournaments. You can see that right now I'm in 13th place, but I get one more attempt. I've, wait, it says attempts two. Huh. So I've only made a one, I've only made one attempt, so I'm not sure why that says two. What happens if I click on this? Is it gonna let me start again? Oh wait, that was weird. 
So now it's saying interest fee. So maybe this would be my second attempt is why it's, so anyway, for a tackle point entrance fee, I think your first attempt is 100, then your second attempt is 200. You can then go, yeah, it says that I've participated one time. There you go. Um, you can go in and, and you get uh, rewards. It's a four day, at least this first one is a four day asynchronous multiplayer tournament where everyone at their own leisure goes in and tries to get the largest bass, this thing, I think it's their top five fish is the way they do it. Uh, your top five fish in terms of weight. And then there's a carp, a predator, and match series um, of those same types of asynchronous online tournaments. Now, um, and I've never actually looked at that leaderboards. I'm not sure what that's showing. Okay, so it breaks it down with each of the Maybe that's not working right now. Let's see. So maybe you don't get the leaderboards until one of the four day tournaments are over. Again, we're all still figuring all this out, what it's gonna be like, but uh, that's what it appears to be. And then the other option besides multiplayer or online is just to go play single player. This is really cool. Like. It's nice that you can do freedom fishing. The other thing I like is that you can do tournaments against your against AI. So you can kind of get into the feel of what a tournament is like before you're actually doing the multiplayer stuff, if you would pr prefer. And for each one, like these are the bass tournaments. The first one is the Johnson Open, which was pretty straightforward and honestly pretty easy. Uh, it's a good way to earn a little tackle points. First place gives you a thousand and there's no entry fee, so there's no risk. The second one was the Boulder Bass Invitational. So now we're at the other bass map, which we'll look at here in just a second. And you get a lot more tackle points, but you are putting down a thousand tackle points just to enter. So uh, a little bit of risk reward there. And then we go to the Northeast Divisional. And this one's even gonna be a harder competition, but you get even a bigger reward. And then finally the Elite Bass Championship but you have to meddle in the in the previous one to get to the next one. Um, so that's what the different stages of the tournaments look like. I like that they've included single player tournaments. Not everybody wants to go be online and competing with other people and all that stuff. You can still get that tournament feel. You'll be fishing against 99 other names that are actually AI, obviously, or, or fake or whatever, but you still has that feel of being in a tournament. You've got a timed amount. The tournaments I've done, I think I had 20 minutes, you know, again, to get your like top five fish or whatever. Freedom fishing means you can go to any of the uh, lakes that currently exist, which there are seven or eight. Seven, I guess, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm seeing seven. Um, now, I've never even stepped, have not stepped foot yet in any of these others, so let's just go over these real quick. Linear, this is in England, uh, a lot of carp, catfish, and other stuff. Uh, Bergsea is in Austria, again, carp, koi carp, which is kind of cool, I'm excited about that. Ghost carp. Um, so, uh, Germany has got the Wald Sea. Three of these maps are based on real life places including uh, Gigantica, which is another one that's in France, and then Grand Union in England. And then those are all of the cart maps. But there are two bass maps, right? Lake Boulder, which is a fictitious lake up in New York, and then Lake Johnson, which is a fictitious lake down in uh, Florida. And so we've gotten four out of the five species at Johnson and five out of the six at Boulder. And this is just where I've been spending my time. So we'll go to the uh, Florida map. And again, I'm just gonna briefly show you what it's actually like to fish in this game. And uh, again, hopefully I will be able to do some more videos for you soon to give you some more in-depth information about this game. But I wanted to give you uh, a little bit of just feedback on what my experience has been like since this game went live in early access and my sort of approach up until this point has been just focusing on um, so this is the map we're selecting one of the three starting points the teleport locations uh, which each one is going to have a boat ramp but this has been my experience in starting out with this game and uh, 
And yeah, thought it might be helpful. Hopefully it will be helpful for someone out there. All right, so we are going to walk uh, ever so slowly and uh, let's board our boat and let's just go find somewhere we can cast our rod for a couple minutes here. Um, now, I will, in fact, we'll just go right over here. Uh, it looks like there's probably some fishing possibilities just right over here. So one thing I like to do is sometimes it's just to actually aim right for the shore uh, because what that allows you to do then is to cast sort of along both, both directions of the shoreline. So um, let's look in our inventory here uh, and let's switch what lure we're going to use. So just an early tip here, um, this chrome blue rattle trap, the 2.5 inch, has been a pretty consistent lure for me. One thing that I've liked about this game so far is that um, uh, it seems like it's not a spreadsheet fishing kind of situation. In other words, there might be some lures that are better in certain conditions in certain places and, and whatever, but I've thrown lots of different lures out and caught fish on them. So I don't feel like the game is, is sort of funneling us towards you always have to use this one lure. Now, you'll notice I let this lure sink to the bottom. Some lures will be top water, some will be bottom water. Um, and you can, of course, uh, reel those in whenever you want. I have switched to using a controller. I started off on mouse and keyboard. To me, for whatever reason, it has just been more enjoyable to fish with the controller in my hand in this game. Now, that may not be the case for everyone, but I do think this is a good sign for those of you who are playing on the PS4 or the Xbox One. I think the game feels great on a controller. The vibration uh, feedback you're getting when a fish does strike and, uh, and all that, I feel like is helpful and I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed a little bit sort of different type of control with thumbsticks versus the mouse. Uh, so what we're doing here is we've got it on a reeling in speed of three. We've mostly been doing a constant slow retrieval, but I'll tell you that has not been on purpose. I'm actually trying to do stop and go. Now we're finally getting stop and go to show up a little bit. We're all over the place right now on our reeling for some reason. Just have lost the feel since it's been a few hours since I last played. I do have the speed on three. Um, sometimes with these rattle traps, I'll do a speed of four instead, and that seems to work as well. Um, I, I'm not even sure what my preference is at this point. I go back and forth between three and four. So we're pressing our left trigger, um, or it would be your right mouse button, to initiate the cast, and then holding down the right trigger, or it would be your left mouse button, to actually cast. On the controller, at least, I'm then reeling in by pushing in the left trigger. And to set the hook, what we're gonna do is use the right thumbstick or just moving your mouse to set the hook against where the fish is pulling when it does take the lure. And hopefully we'll, um, hopefully we'll get the good fortune of being able to catch a fish for you here. If it was up to me, I would like to remove that lure indicator on the screen. To me, that takes you out of, um, out of the immersion a little bit. By the way, the reason why I've got my, you can control your rod, your rod direction, and I'll, looks like we're not gonna catch a fish here on this cast either, so I'll show you what I mean. You can move the rod tip around and, um, the reason why I have it sort of straight and a little bit down is because uh, to set the hook properly, you want to sort of, um, you want to pull against the direction that the fish strikes or where the fish is taking the, 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 the lure. So 
Um, it, for me, at least, it's been most helpful to kind of do that with the, the rod sort of straight ahead so that I can pull in either direction. Now, I've just switched to a top water lure here. This is a buzz bait. And uh, we're going to cast this and see if we can get anything. And then if we don't... So you do see the fish in the water. And I haven't even seen a fish come up to the any of the lures since we've been fishing here. So it just may be that there's no fish right here. Let's, uh, let's move down a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's coming across in the video, but the game does just look beautiful. I mean, it's it, graphically, they've done a really good job. We're gonna get out and cast one time real quick here. I don't even know if there's fish here again, but we're gonna get one cast out and just see. Um, obviously one of the standout aspects of it is how good the boats look. It's really just fun driving the boat around. These, uh, there's a pull. Yeah, there we go. There's a fish. So, if you have played um, the dovetail fishing games that came before this, Euro Fishing, I guess, is the one I'm thinking of in particular, you will recognize some of these mechanics. I will say that I think that, oh, he's hit reached 11 there. We got uh, a little bit of XP there for that chain pickerel. Um, I will say that I think they have made some improvements on the way that fighting fish works. Um, it does feel pretty pretty good. It's uh, maybe still not still not perfect in some ways. Um, there's still some things that I would personally like to see adjusted a little bit, but I'm having fun with it. I mean, I guess that's that's the bottom line, right? Is that I want to say I am having fun. Uh, so far with this game and even though I did decide to, decide to pre-order the game and I was going to play the game I was very skeptical about it before it came out for various reasons and it turns out it's been it's been very fun I've actually in the short amount of time I've played so far I've had a really good time uh, and that was a trophy chain pickerel so glad y'all got to see that on this video um so yeah, we're trying to target bass, and, and what we're catching are these uh, these these pickerels. So, um, but yeah, I've had a really good time. I've done some of the online asynchronous competitions. I have done some of the single player competitions, and I've done a lot of freedom fishing, just doing some experimenting with different lures and gear and line, and uh, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a good time. So. Uh, for what that's worth, that my experience has been a pretty good one here, even though admittedly, admittedly, I have don't have that much time in. As you can tell, we're only a level, level 11. And, um, and I don't know in terms of longevity, you know. I, I, some of that will depend on how much I enjoy the carp fishing. I still say that at the heart of this game, um, it is... It, it, it is a carp, you know, it is a sort of a, a carp fishing game. Although the predator fishing, fishing for the bass has been, uh, has been more fun than I was afraid it would be. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It really is actually pretty fun. So, um, so that's, that's been my experience so far. Let's see if we can't get one more fish stirred up here. So we ended up catching those pickerels on this on this buzz bait. I like using the buzz baits. I've got two or three different color variations now, um, and I really do like using them. Um, let's see. You have to be at the end of the boat to get the casting, but once you get hit left tr left trigger to start casting, you can then turn back and cast against your the direction you're facing if that makes sense uh, but yeah I've enjoyed using the, the buzz baits I, I like fishing with buzz baits in real life just seeing that bass hit that bait on the top of the water is, is really cool this game is going to lean a little lean a little bit into the more of the arcade feel uh, and I do think that some of that is um you know, to me, some of that is because of things like the way that the lure shows up in the water. 
uh, with the, the lure indicator. I mean, some of those things just make it feel so much more like an arcade versus a sim. But um, but it still feels like there's some strategy and, and some, some fun choices that you're making. Uh, it doesn't seem like a spreadsheet kind of fishing experience. It seems like the fish are moving around. Um, you know, I've, I've definitely been in spots where at one time the spot seems really good. Another time doesn't seem like I can catch anything there. So, uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been good. All right. So let's, um, let's wrap this video up. I feel like I've kind of achieved what I was wanting to achieve, which is just to share some of my initial thoughts about the game. Um, I'll let you see sort of one more cast here with a different lure. This time we'll go with, what can we use different? Let's use, uh, let's use the frog. Um, I'm excited about playing it more. Uh, today during my stream, we're going to um, continue to do some bass fishing but I'm also gonna, for the first time, do some of the carp fishing and see see how much fun that seems. So probably just gonna do a stop and go here with the frog. I think with the frog, you can either stop and go constant or do twitching. The, the nice thing about the lures is they do tell you like preferred retrieval methods on each lure. So that kind of gives you a uh, starting point to figure out how you wanna use it. but. There's a fish. Did you see that fish swim up? That looks like a pretty nice largemouth bass. Oh, poor strike. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so we caught another pickerel with, there was a largemouth bass that passed on the frog. So, uh, man, how did this turn into the, uh, pickerel, str uh, the pickerel video? I I'm not, I'm not really sure. Let's, um, let's see if we can't get that bass real quick. Just so you can see that. Let's go, yeah, let's just go with the rattle trap. I'll go up to uh, four retrieval. So with the rattle trap, like I said before, I really like to let them sink, sink to the bottom and then we'll start a stop and go. A stop and go retrieval here. What I'm finding a lot of times when I'm not getting the stop and go to come up is I'm not reeling long enough in between pauses. So you want to go ahead and give that a good like rotation, rotation and a half before doing your pause. And if you do that, then you'll get that stop and go up there much more consistently. Now I'm gonna slow it down to three because we're getting so close. See if that if we even see that fish. It never did come back up. Okay, so let's end it here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to see if you know if any kind of feedback on on this game. If you're playing it, what your experience has been like. If you're not playing it um, and thinking about it, you know, just kind of your feedback. If there's any 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 different types of videos you would like to see or information you're wondering about, please come uh, pop in on the stream at uh, Twitch.tv slash mdog gaming that's m-d-a-w-g gaming um but i hope this has been helpful uh i just wanted to get a quick sort of first impressions video specifically on the bass fishing uh and instead we've shown you pickerel fishing so you know what are you gonna do but thanks for watching and uh hope to see you again soon Bye bye